Oh, hi. Hey, everybody. What's going on? We are ready for another Tuesday night. Um, so just so everybody knows, uh, we're not going to have Sarah tonight. The just, um, you know, the Kickstarter that's coming up next week. Uh, the um, her, her new job doing crazy management, telling people what to do. But now, like, she's responsible for them if they don't do or something. I don't know. Something something crazy uh insane she's uh she's got all the power now i think um, that may not be true at all uh but i like that story so we're gonna go with it um however uh lisa lisa uh was taken to the hospital as i recall uh so she will be recovering for this session in any case meanwhile Let's see, who did our recap last? Uh, Thomas did, and then it was going to be Sarah, but she is bagged out again. Yeah. So we're going to go down to uh, Chris. Or I think recap. it's actually Jen's turn. Um, it's definitely going to be your turn before it's Jen's turn. Uh, that much I do know. Um, okay, that much you do know? That All is, right. Yes. So last time on uh, Shatter Run Z, we uh, went to a crater, and uh, we were trying to uh, use this magical, like, Geiger counter thing to uh, get some kind of reading. And, and we came across a bunch of beans that turned out to be bugs in spirit form. And then uh, Durier had some stuff with the spirit, and he was looking at the stuff. And then uh, things happened, and uh, we're back in the van. You're back in the van. Am um, I wrong, or did I mess it up terribly? You, you, no, you didn't mess anything up. Um, just uh, sped past a bunch of parts, but, you know, <laughs> we're there. We're there. Um, all right. Well, indeed. So, Barrier Spirit did grab uh, Media and took her to a... Took her to the local... Uh, you know, street doc. Eventually, you guys are, what, moving away from the area, um, hopefully not too messed up. Somebody was, was, was Media wearing your armor? Yes, she was. So, mm -hmm. um, Etienne is uh, passed out in the Matrix, laying on the front seat in his boxer and t-shirt. I'm sure I've got a blanket somewhere. Uh, that may be so, but we're both unconscious, I think, yeah. right now. Oh, no, you're driving the car. And yeah, yeah, I brought the drone back. the drone to follow us. Right. And and the drone is following. And so um, you did manage to, I believe, get the device out of there. And um, what were you going to say, Thomas? Uh yeah, we did. I'm not exactly sure how we did, if it's on the drone. Uh, no, I, I think, think the spirit... Is still holding it? Yeah. I think the spirit took it and um, was bringing it back after. So, okay. so yeah, the, the spirit does bring that back. And eventually you hear like a tap tap as you're driving. Um, and then another tap tap. Uh, you guys get a message from Etienne, like, I don't know what's going on, but the sensors on the car are detecting some some sort of disturbance. Someone's tapping at the window, it would seem. Uh, we'll look at the windows. Things don't usually tap on my windows while the car is moving, so... So, checking in the rear view, you do see the um, the large wolf spirit just kind of cruising along next to the next to the van and it's got the little device and it's tapping the device against the side of the van like tap tap oh nico your friend is here uh do i need to pull over nico's never seen anything like this so he's just standing there with his mouth open that's so cool i'm gonna pull over it seems like i don't, I don't know if these things get tired but i don't want to take the risk Etienne is going to have a look at the, the sensor he has uh, attached on the outside of the car. 
Mm -hmm. See, uh, see how the radiation is. Did we get far enough away to uh, be safe opening the doors? Oh yeah, you're you're definitely far enough oh. away. I mean, even even where you were before wasn't too bad. Um, it's again, it's like one of these weird things where the closer you get, it's like exponentially ramps up, uh, mm -hmm. and it's not the way that uh, nuclear fallout works. Magic, radioactivity, mm -hmm. does weird things. Hey, then. Uh, yeah, so the spirit drops the uh, device and uh, takes a couple steps back, uh, looks over at Nico, and, okay, I'm done. I go now. Thanks, guy. Uh... I didn't know you guys could like do that fly next to the car thing. It's cool. Uh, we can fly. Right, right. I mean, that, it makes car, sense. I just car. But I just, What's I just, car? yeah, I just didn't. Yeah. Now it's not so cool. Okay. Bye. bye. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and with that, he, uh, you know releases back into the ever, if you will. Uh, there's a device. It looks like it has recorded 15 minutes of, 15 minutes. I mean, it wasn't technically like pointed into the middle of the crater, but um, it was close enough, right? I mean, they get a good they amount get what of they it. get. They get what they get, yeah. <laughs> So is everybody doing all right? It um, comes out of the matrix. It's like, uh, yeah. They need some pens, though. Yeah. Uh, kind of media, scared. Did, Why do you need pants? Take your pants. <laughs> uh, you guys took them off me to put them on the lady that's now in the hospital. We need, yeah, we should go check on that. Uh, not just for my pants. I mean, she she helped us, and we just shipped her to an hospital via spirit. For all we know, she's laying on the top of it. <laughs> You're not like Commando what? Lapel, right? <laughs> no, I got <laughs> got boxers. All right, cool. and a t-shirt. <laughs> all right, cool beans. Casual day at the office. Yeah, you know. Casual Tuesdays. Mm-hmm. Yeah, let's go uh, check and make sure she actually made it into the hospital, and then we can go drop this off. Just, you make a fair point that I would hate if she's sitting on the roof somewhere. But I or in the street. I, I don't know that it can, like, it seemed pretty, like, articulate, but I don't know that it can understand, like, our world enough to, like, explain to the person in the entryway, why they're dropping off. Uh, and Maybe she just likes to take naps. Two for two, she's gone to sleep on jobs. <laughs> in the same day, no less. <laughs> I mean, naps are very important. But... I'm not hating on it, I get you. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean... Be fair, the first the first time you went napping too, and you both did it the very same way. Like I just said, I get it. <laughs> I totally get it. <laughs> anyway, let's let's go let's go to the uh, the hospital. All right. Um, so cruising over to the hospital, it's the same hospital that you had taken um, Brick to when he had got shot the the just a couple nights ago, last night night before I don't know, it was really recent um as you arrive everything looks okay in the front um nothing nothing out of place or weird or strange all right uh i recommend that somebody go inside to check i mean i can go inside if you want 
but someone should go to the front desk and check and see if she's been checked in somewhere. As someone who's wearing pants. Yeah, I'm sure we can find some pants for you. It's medical personnel. They 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 probably, you know, they're fine. They've seen that. <laughs> Guy shows um, up in boxers. He's like, a spirit brought my friend in. How is she? Uh, <laughs> she doing okay? <laughs> uh, do we actually have a physical description of uh, media, Lisa, Lisa? Um, I mean, if if you don't, Chris, uh, Satchel does Chris, because he's because he's yeah. seen her, yeah. looked at her, uh, yeah. so he can give that description. Yes. Okay. Uh, so Satchel Satchel will uh, go in and uh, talk to the the front desk. Okay. Hey, hey, if that doesn't work, you can always um, say um, t- tell them that it she was brought in by a giant wolf. That should. Narrow it down. Yeah. All right. Uh, so uh, a puppy brought this lady in. All right. I got it. <laughs> oh. Good luck. All right. So, All right, uh, so yeah, what uh, you you enter? There's there's def- there's a nurse on station right there. She looks up as you come in, and she kind of smiles. Um. Uh, uh, yeah, hi. How how can I help you? Uh. Hello. How how are you doing today? Good. We're we're good. Things are good. Um, yeah. Uh, just another another day in the containment zone. That must be sure. Or wait, you're not in the containment zone. You're in the north corridor. Another day in the corridor. Oh, okay. Oh, I mean, like it sounds like a pretty decent day. Um, but like, not to be rude, but I'm I'm kind of in a hurry. Um, I'm looking for a friend of mine who may have showed up here in the last few minutes to an hour or so uh okay sure she looks down at her her little aro display and she starts to tap you got uh what's the name um she gave me the name of lisa i believe uh and then uh and then uh he gives the physical description of her to uh the lady at the front desk and she may have been uh Accompanied by a a dog, a variable size. <laughs> a, so so that that wasn't a dog. What was it? I mean, it was like a house. It, it was shaped a wolf. like a dog. It was a wolf. They don't um, they don't like being called dogs. Wolves are generally they're larger, and it's it's right in here. You see a difference, and the snout is a little more profound, and sometimes the fangs they hang low. So it's it's a subtle difference, but if you don't notice it, they'll get really. Do the fangs hang low. Yeah, they're just time in a don't bow. do it. This right here. Time in a knot. I mean, I don't know if you could tie bone. <laughs> Why don't you try the next time I summon one? I mean. I mean, if you want me to, I'll try it. I absolutely want you to. She looks between the two of you, blinks. Right, so yes, a young woman was brought in by a giant, not a dog, but a wolf. Um, so you had her brought so here, I so, presume. Yeah, so she's here? She is, she is. Um, they took her in the back. They're figuring out what they should probably do. Um, this looks like a lot of uh, radiation. And... Radiation? Oh. Like, uh, that, that shit it can't be. Like, uh, we took plenty of iodine pills before, uh, yeah. <laughs> and then he realizes halfway through that he probably shouldn't give too much information. <laughs> it was like iodine pills were a thing. I, I'm, I'm sure. I, I, I'm sure. I don't. I'm just here at the desk. Uh, I can only read what is written down. Uh, but she is here. She does seem that she's stable. 
we've got her in on a watch in the back and um they, they put her on a watch how big was the watch her like physical description it must be about i don't know like five to six feet and I- <laughs> you guys have a, a six foot watch <laughs> that's a big ass wrist i know deep Talk about a row. Were you in the same radiation area as she was? Are you feeling okay? Feel pretty okay. Uh, is there a check I need to make to see if I <laughs> if I I should be okay? I wasn't literally in the van the entire time. <laughs> I mean, Nikos. the lady is just asking you if you're high from radiation. So that's that's for you to decide if you want. Um, I might be high on life or radiation or these snacks that happen to be under the the seat right here. I'm a <laughs> Okay, Nico well, if you, um, oh, sorry, go ahead. If you, you want to leave your comm code, we can, um, we can let her know. And then maybe when she wakes up and if, um, she agrees, we'll give you a call and let you know. Please do. And then I give both, not only my comm code, I give my comm code, uh, I, I give Gertrude's comm code. And then I give uh, uh, I give ATN's comp code. I don't you think I know to. Nico's comp code yet, quite yet. But he is literally sitting here, right next to me, apparently. So he can do that if he wishes. Hmm. <laughs> These are things that happened. It's yeah. He's gonna get to work trying to change his spoof comp code from his deck because. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Uh, yeah. And then I was you like, know. I, I, I appreciate that. And then uh, I sent her a. Uh, is it a lady? It is a lady. Okay. Uh, so I sent her a, 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 a few new yen. Like, thank you. Uh, I sent her about like a what, 100. I'm not exactly sure the how far a couple of new yen go in, in this. Just economy. think of it as one new yen equal $1. Okay, so I'll give her about like a hundred million. Like, yeah. If if you can't reach me, please go down the list. Okay. Okay. Certainly. Um, I uh, will. And, and what's your name? Oh, um, my name, uh, Nicole. Thank you, Nicole. And then uh, he kind of like taps uh, Nico on the shoulder like friendly it was like all right let, let's get back to the name pop, pop, pop. type some stuff in notes you know something something routine <laughs> certainly <laughs> all right well Satchel makes its way back towards the van knowing that she's okay she's here but I can't really quite go over there yeah, everything seems okay on the up and up. All so right, we good? Everybody's back in the van. Etienne, do you want to stop and get some pants before we go drop this off? Yeah, yeah, I'd like that. Okay. What's the temperature uh, outside? <laughs> <laughs> That's okay, you From could ask there. about the pants inside. I mean, you know. I mean, they probably have a lost and found inside. It is a hospital. Let's just stop at the stuffer shack. <laughs> okay, so stopping at the stuffer shack. Um, does the stuffer shack have pants you need? I mean, for out. now, it's just going to be pants, but. Pants and a burner company. All they have yeah. is pants. Pants, pants. Just regular pants. That's perfect. All right. You have pants now. You have a burner. Uh, mark right. off your monies. The pants are like 20 million. Uh, if you're at middle lifestyle, then uh, they're free. Included in your lifestyle costs. I'm at low. Up, oh, 20 million. Pay up or get out. What about the burner? A uh, hundred. 
All right. And as uh, he walks out with his uh, brand new pants, he just drops his previous burner coming to the ground and crushes it with his foot and walks back in. Just starts. What, what, what number was that? The one you gave the lady. She's supposed to call you. <laughs> She, media had our my contact, I think, because I um, but I have marks on her com link still anyway, so yeah, yeah I should be I should be good to contact her if I need to, but my bad. I guess I should, probably should have asked you if it was okay to keep your number out. That's that's on me. No, you know, right. Um, yeah, well, pants, burner, take you just a couple of seconds to get that thing set up, um, and, uh, where off to now? Uh, to the museum. Uh, uh, he, he looks at his com link to try to see if, it, like, his, uh, Google meet, his Google calendar, like, uh, because he has a... He has a, a meeting with Dr. Tate at some point, and he's trying to make sure that they that the dates and times are are, are conflicting. Yeah, I mean, it's you're not worried about it right now. It's at least a couple of days. You know, there's going to have to be at least uh, like a couple of like it got dark, it got light again. You know, and then you'll be like, okay, wait. All right. Well, then after he's saying that he he he's all right, he's like he doesn't say anything. He's just like just <laughs> goes back to. Chilling in the van, looking for snacks. All right, there's snacks. Let's go. Mm. Where are we going? To the museum. Okie doke. Soy fries. Mm. <laughs> yes, soy fries. All right, so to the museum you go. This feels a little bit deja vu-ish, but I think um, I think we're okay. So as you are approaching, coming around the side, um, I have everyone's tokens over here. You're not just out in the street. Uh, you are in Darcy, uh, and you kind of come around the corner. You can see there's some sort of kerfluffle. Um, that's the technical term for what is going on up ahead. Um, looks like there are several individuals on motorbikes that are shooting shooting up at the museum and at the top of the stairs you can see dr kirsch and the um guy with the hawaiian shirt uh they're up there and the guy with the hawaiian shirt has this you can see like a shimmering barrier in front and he's kind of holding it up as bullets are just flying up from the street level and smacking into it um they haven't noticed you yet as you kind of come around the corner. I don't know if if you're going to stop to assess or if you're going to drive ahead. What's going on with, with uh, you and Darcy? So you said that they're at the top of the steps. So uh, Dr. Kirsch and um, is, uh, is up there with, uh, with his buddy and um, everyone else is down down at the bottom. How, okay. How, how many are we talking about? Uh, just, that looks like a lot. About maybe close to 10? So I'm going to be really mad if somebody is stealing our canister after we went through all of that and creepy children to get these readings. Uh, that's going to upset me. So... I uh, think. Oh no, go ahead. But but it's just going to say, uh, I, uh, I got a few grenades, like real ones, and he pulls out like frag grenades from his pack. Also, flash mangs. I got um, two of each. We can. I have smoke. maybe this first. I want to um, do combat sense. I'm going to cast combat sense. <laughs> And what uh, were you gonna so, say? Uh, oh, I say I have uh, I have all sorts of grenades. I have 
a, a couple smoke grenades. I have, uh, I, I believe that's in. You still have a, um, a, uh, a, a yeah, no yeah, I, grenade. I have one, but I'm, I'm, I'm not <laughs> yeah. sure you have learned your lesson yet. So I'll, I'll, I'll hold down. I have now dubbed now. those the no no grenades uh, until I, I, no at least grenade. I get the, uh, oh. at least until I get the full suit. Uh, but I have thermographic uh, grenade, smoke grenades, stun grenades. Okay. You just want a bunch of grenades. Gundam Battle Assault 2, like old school. Zaku boat. Oh, damn, I'm sorry. So uh, as, as you're sitting there, Gertrude, trying to figure out what everyone wants to do, um, they're back there talking about what kind of grenades they have and how they're calling them no-no grenades now. And it's all really important stuff, you're sure. Mm-hmm, yeah. Uh, I'm going to start driving towards the stairs. Darth, uh, Nico, you can go ahead and cast that spell um, since you're not in combat just yet. I want to do, I want to pre-edge it, though. Do I have to do something to do that? You have to click the edge button on, and then you're going First. to go, yep. Okay. You're going to click that edge button on, okay. and then you're going to go to your spell. Uh-huh. And you're going to cast it at what force? Force one. Okay. Because you're pre-edging, so you'll get to keep all your hits anyway. Uh, and then okay. that means that you're, uh, you have um, focus concentration one, so you can use that to maintain it without having a minus. Gotcha. Very good. Uh, Is that 21? No, that's your drain is, is two uh, because that's the minimum. Your drain is one, but because the minimum is two. I was like, do I even have 21 uh, freaking points? Okay. Right. So go ahead and just do the drain there. And then we're going to add uh, four to your defense. Okay. So that's pretty good. Gucci smoochie. All right. Now, um, as you're rolling up, Darcy, how are you, how are you playing this? Are you... Um, can I also cast and re increase reflexes? You already have that up from before. Oh. At like a pretty good level too. So if you want to drop it and cast it again, I mean. No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm looking at the map and I'm not familiar with this building um, at all. I don't think I've ever actually been to Chicago in real life. Uh, this That's area. Right. Yeah, so that's the front, and those are some stairs. And this area over here to the left is another building. Uh, so if you go into this parking lot here, yeah, then you can kind of drive down. And then it's still pavement here. It's just not, um, it's not black. So it's like... Okay, it's like going down into pavement. a loading dock kind of thing. Right, yeah. And gotcha. then there's like, uh, you know, stuff, bins and stuff down there. That's what I couldn't tell the perspective, whether it was a building or going down. Yeah, so I'm going to head towards the sidewalk, and um, so my my thought is to get as close as I can. I don't think I can take the van up the stairs, uh, but that's always a backup plan in case, um, to get sort of to the side over here and see mm -hmm. if they can just make a run for it. Um. Okay. All that's right. that's where my head's at for this. So I'm going to bring you here for a second, and then we're going to go into some initiative rounds because that's what we all want to do, really. I just got some something from someone. I'm not sure what it is, but thank you, Raj, zero one two. That's uh, Randy. 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 Or you're supposed to be like 012. I'm not sure, but either way, thank you. What is it that I have though? What does that do? What I got? It's like a NERPS. Uh silver is one an eight. auto hit. So you can add right. a, a hit to something that you rolled. Dope. Don't forget to click your token before you roll initiative, guys and gals. Yes. Don't tell me what to do. Your token is all the way on the left. Too late. Is on the left side of the map. Oh, we're doing initiative right now. This moment. Yeah, we're gonna start rolling okay. initiative now because um, I think it's gonna take me forty-five time. minutes for it to show up. Right. Um, yeah, because it's gonna take me forty-five minutes to to do it as well. Um, initiative. I cannot see my token on the map currently. All the way on the left. Oh, nice. All the left way on and the left. up. Oh, okay. I see. 
all the way on the left and then up. Yes. So, all the way. All the way. Okay. Need this one for now. Pop. Wop, wop. Here's a cute little noise that it makes. I, I appreciate this cute little like. It's so reassuring. Reminds you that you're doing the good work, shadow running. It's like, yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, it wasn't that bad. I got yep. 15. Didn't take All that long. Right. That's dope. So, Nico. Nico. As you are... Um, as everything's kind of moving up pretty quick, you you realize that you're going to be up there. What is it that you would like to do? Uh, keeping in mind, you can't cast through windows or anything, so like you would have to roll down a window or something. Um, so Nico gets like this really intense look on his face. Okay. And um, he like he drops his eyebrow like that. Not like the eyebrow. He's just really intense right now. And so yeah, I, I do want to go ahead and roll down a window. Okay. And then um, I'm going to cast Chaotic World on everybody out there. Okay. That is um, that is a thing you can do, because that is a spell that you have. So when you look at the squares, each force that you cast in this Chaotic World is going to extend one square out, right, from the center of your uh, casting. Of me. Of, of where you cast it at. Okay, I'm sorry. Where where are these people? They're all the way on the right. Okay, let me move this because I oh oh we're too far, right? No, you can cast as long as you can see. You're just but trying you to say that a... it's but it's from me to them. No, 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 no. That okay. distance is nothing. You can you can okay. always cast that distance. Um, it's just that you um. So I'm gonna aim like here. Right. If you wanted to aim there and you wanted to get everybody, you would have to one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five. You would need to do like a six. You sure it's not eight? You can do eight. There's nothing that says you can't. The more you do, the the, the more, more drain. You potentially uh, get them. But yes, also the more drain. And you do have one auto hit. But that's not the same as like a smackdown. It's not a smackdown, it's an auto hit, but it'll add to, to your successes. All right, I'm gonna use it. Okay, so that's one. And then you're gonna go over to your spell casting, just like normal, and cast Chaotic World. I'm so afraid. Boop. So if I do, now I do, four, even though I want it Force 8, I can cast it at Force 7, because I got the auto hit? Uh, the auto hit's just gonna give you a hit. It's not gonna raise the Force. So you can keep the force at eight. Okay. Um, Sheesh. That's six total. Okay. Uh, the drain is really high. Um, it is really is, high. Which is a little unpleasant, but you know what? It's, um, you're fine. It's not that bad. It's not that bad. It's not that bad. Uh, I think you, re you forgot to remove the edge. So you edge your last two rolls. I'm sorry to be a party pooper. Ah, uh, uh, he's right. So I have to re-roll. Hmm. Okay. Uh, just, re just turn it off and re-roll the drain. Keep, just keep your chaotic world. You know, there's no reason not to. You use two edge. You have it. <laughs> what else are you doing with it? Oh, Thomas. Uh, <laughs> by the way, guys, he should, be, he should be hurting right now. All right. Um, bum, 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 bum. So now what I have to do is you're going to have to give me a moment because I have to do this for everyone. But not them, though. Well, all of them, I have to make this roll. Not I'm, us. Yeah, yeah. Oh, right, right, okay. Yeah, not you. You, you succeeded in the thing that you're doing. Okay. Uh, they, on the other hand, uh, are not. So. But I have a massive headache now. Mm -hmm. 
It's not so much that they have a massive headache. I'm saying me. Oh, you. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, you got a bit of a headache. I mean, even still, that's not too bad. Right. Uh, it's eight dice. Do it that way. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right, now I have to apply that. Good times. <laughs> All right, here we go. Five. Eight. This one is. Or is and then the last three are the same as well. All right, so you send this. I mean, it's it kind of flies. You see this like streak of like multicolored bands just kind of shoot out from from Duryea's position, just straight ahead. Uh, it streaks really fast and expands as it goes out. Uh, and once it reaches them, it's just it it blows out into this complete completely huge ball of just cacophonous colors um cacophonous cacophonous uh which is you know cacophonous is noise but that's what's happening and and they start like looking around and start you know they're they're starting to kind of aim around and in, in not like pointing up ahead um i believe let's see here does this thing let me do the uh um eight yeah, so it captures everyone inside of there. I uh, wish I could draw a thing that was... Um... Like a barrier? Well, like, it lets me draw a circle, right? So here I've got draw a circle. Like well, that's square. Great. No, that's a... uh, no, I, no, I did that. I, I want... It lets me draw a circle, but then once the circle is drawn, I don't... Can I grab it? Find out. Aha, I, I can. Shapes. Yay. Playing with shapes. Yeah, so I can grab it. That's good. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, yeah. Seven, eight. So like that. Eight diameter. And then like that. Oh, blast so that, radius. That's, that's how much space it takes up. Are you uh, gonna put which it? is. So the drain was worth it. Yeah, I mean, they're all in there and they're kind of like swatting around and stuff. A couple of them are still trying to shoot up towards the um, towards the stairs. Uh, none of them seem to have noticed you yet, Gertrude. Uh, yeah, so I'm going to drive towards the steps and right. um, yell at Satchel to open the door. Okay, so you're driving right up to here. <laughs> Yes. Okay. Perfect. Swamp thing number three looks around and decides that he is going to shoot at Darcy. Rude. Yeah. Um... However, you do get to make a defense test as you're driving. You see, like, the gun pointing up, and you kind of lurch the wheels to the side a little bit to not uh, get shot. 
So I make the defense test or yes. uh, oh, cool. as the driver, you make the defense test. It's just that you're going to be limited by the handling of your vehicle. Normally, a defense test is not limited. Gotcha. All right. And I'm so sorry. Can you remind me again where the defense test is on this sheet? On the core? It's going to be next to your armor. There's a shield. I see it. Okay. Thank you. Yep. All right. Next up, this fella. He stumbles backwards and kind of moves towards one of these one of these motorcycles. Looks like he might be trying to get on it. All right. And then this fella. He stumbles forward, big old troll, and he just like starts yelling at uh the stuff that's around. That's the end. Uh, it's the end is gonna end the device to satchel for him to go and deliver it, and he's gonna get to the gun port and repair his weapon. Uh, aim okay. if I have the action economy to do that. You have the action economy to aim, uh, but not then to fire. Uh, or you could yeah. fire. Or I can fire? Yes, you could fire, um, but not aim, as long as you're doing okay. a simple, uh, simple action firing. Um, no, I'm just going to aim at the guy who just shot at Darcy. Okay. Uh, I believe that's this guy up here. So, okay. So then next up after Etienne is, uh, no, this swamp thing right here. Uh, yeah. So he kind of runs up this direction, uh, trips over something and plants on the ground and then spends the rest of his, his action stepping, getting up. And then it's Satchel's turn. If you are talking, I cannot hear you. You are muted. So Satchel, he and Gertrude slides the, the door open and uh, uh, the, the Lou Browns are in the set uh casca so he pulls out the uh <laughs> yeah, <it's> true <laughs> yeah so he pulls out the uh the the ruger uh the super warhawk and then uh uh do i have any more action economy to shoot at someone who's attack uh, attacking us or is sliding the door open and pulling out my my revolver so you can do a thing called fast draw because the ruger super warhawk is a pistol sized weapon what you do is you roll as if you're firing it so you just make a pistols check and if you get three hits you can draw and shoot well then i will try to do that and i will do that towards the nearest available enemy that uh sure. to take. all okay. right so uh i will you said a uh, pistol check yep it's just a straight up pistol check and then in uh, a few minutes it'll, it'll probably pop up so if you want to oh look at that oh, did it come up for you already oh something changed it, it, the thing left but I don't see anything down there the, the thing left <laughs> yeah, like, you know, like everybody, when you click the thing, it pops up a little thing, and it's like, all right, do you want to put some modifiers? And if they're not, then I hit accept. But then that box typically stays there for a few minutes, but it left, but nothing showed up. <laughs> mm. So not the thing popped up, but the thing that goes away that then signals eventually it'll pop up. Happens yeah, after. It, it happened. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah. Well, then I'll go ahead and click it again. Pistols, revolvers, input value none. 
click submit. Now the, there it goes. Hey, and it came pretty fast. Wow, look at that. All right, so you're shooting at, um, so you're going to shoot at this guy right here. So now you can go ahead and actually do the shooting test. Okay. So is it literally the same button? Well, you go to core and go to your Ruger Super Warhawk, or if it's not your core weapon, you can go to arms, and there your, your Ruger will, will be in there. Um, you want to make sure you pick the right one, though, whichever it's loaded with, um, whether it's gel rounds, armor piercing, or stick and shock. Uh, I will do the uh, uh, the normal. Uh, that's gel rounds, armor piercing. Yeah, so your normal is gel rounds. So yeah, those that's already set as your primary weapon. So in your core, it's already there. Okay. Well then, I, I have clicked it, and let's see how long it takes for it <laughs> to show up. Okay. Um, back to four. From right here. There it goes. Whoa. You pull the trigger and you fire. This poor fellow right here, he, uh, let's see, which one is that? Two or one? Is it two or one? Two. There it is. Ten. Oh, that one's ten. My bad. It's ten. Oh, no, that's one. His initiative is ten. <sighs> Are you confusing me, Satchel? Don't do that. I pulled triggers. So you confuse yourself. All right. So, um... Oof. One, two, three... Okay. So the thing is, is like the guy's not even really paying attention. He's just so involved with everything that's like swinging around his head uh, and kind of ducking under stuff that that he finally like turns and sees Satchel pull the trigger and. Ow, um, nine stun is the base damage. But you got seven hits minus his one, so that's six net hits. So that's 15 stun. So I'm going to roll um, with a minus one to soak because that's an armor pen there. So what, what we said, 15, 15. So he soaks three. He's going to take 12 stun. Sweet. Uh, which equals 12 stun and one physical, actually. That is, um, yep. Yep, that's, uh, that's what happens. Uh, Satchel's like, uh, the door's open! <laughs> uh, it's him that's gonna take his free action to say, and you have the device, run up there! <laughs> Uh, do I have enough action economy to start doing that? You can move. So um, moving is, is not an action. Moving is just a kind of a thing that you can do while you are doing other things. Okay. Well, so then hearing that, then he makes his way towards the MacGuffin. Okie doke. As, as quickly as he can. All right. We Grab Satchel because you are running out of the van. Oop. Your agility being a nine uh, allows you to run 18. So you run up there with the device. Do, do I actually have it? I don't know. Did you remember to grab it and run out? Well, it's in. It's in. Took part of his action to end it to Satchel. So sure. I, I would assume that he took it. If not, uh, I mean, I definitely yeah. would not have left the the van with without. All right. The so, so you're taking you're taking it up there. We got it. All right. So this guy uh, sees you running up. So he's going to shoot at you. Um, this is number seven. 
Um, so, there is shooting. Shooting is happening. It, um, it's definitely, there's definitely gunfire coming from where those gang members are. They look like gang members, but, um, you don't know where that bullet went? Uh, nowhere near you. He says as he's... All right, this one, he runs over here. He's trying to get on that motorcycle. All right, Nico, you have three spells up, but only one of them are counting against you, so you're at minus two to anything you want to do at this point. However, um, things seem to be going swimmingly. You're muted. I knew so, that. I knew. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I knew that. Mm -hmm. I want to do blast, and I want to do it uh, right here. Okay. What is the force of your blast going to be? Six. Six. All right. So remember to put a minus two for your modifiers here. Uh, but other than that, uh, and make sure you turned off your edge. It's off. Um, all right. Uh, cast it. Let's see what happens. Damn it. This one says drain zero next to it. <laughs> that's why I pick blast. Oh, oh that's because it's not, it's it's your force. It's not plus or minus anything to your force. Goodness. Did, you, did you want to did you want to edge that the casting of the spell? What would that got two hit? Um post edge? Sure. Yeah, post edge. So you would roll the remaining dice, which is six, four, six, uh sixteen minus two is fourteen. Uh minus your two is twelve. You'd roll twelve dice, I mean. So would I just put in the dice and 12. hit twelve? Yeah, just do the 12, dice 12. That's 122. See, look at that, six. All right, so six, and you only took two drain, uh, awesome. which isn't too bad. Um, that's going to be 12 base damage minus six to their armor, and that is, you cast it up here. So let me make a, I guess, a, 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 a circle of six. That's something like that. Kablooey! Oh, ho, ho, ho. yeah. That's like yeah. all of these dudes. I was gonna clout. I'm glad I didn't clout because I would have to like clout individually. All right, so that's where you cast it. Uh, so it's not gonna catch these three, but everyone else is inside. All right. I was really only trying to catch like these four, so I guess right. that works out. Okay, so who is this? Five. So, seven and eight. Let me do a soak for them. Oof. This is probably not going to end too well for these guys. Let's find out. Um, all right. And again... Okay, uh, the two trolls crumble the to the ground. Ones? Yeah, the big ones. They crumble to the ground. They crumble are, the they, ground. Like, like, they both get shot like away from the center of your blast and, and just kind of crumble to the ground and roll. Um, when is this? Nine, five. And... So five and six are outside, so everyone else is inside. Okay. Feel like number two was already down, though. Okay. Four. Minus six to a soak again. Pop. 
of everybody inside the circle of, of the blast, all of them, except maybe one, eats shit. Get wrecked. That's a lot of shit. Yeah. Um, that one. And oh, <laughs> yeah, that one. Like Satchel turned his. There was up. there was the one that that Satchel shot, and he was on the ground, and then the blast hit, and it just launched his <laughs> comatose body, like <laughs> like Aww. someone you just like like a Skyrim guy that you just killed, and is yeah. like, like <laughs> flopping over. Like the physics is just really weird. Yeah, yeah. That's, um, that. Uh, that is the thing you did. Like fight. flailing, like a like yeah. a like a like a rag doll. Yep. That's so uh, like so that like is. Satchel sees this and just kind of like, like, is that necessary? <laughs> <laughs> All right. It's like, uh, it's like, but as far giving, as go ahead, go ahead. You're giving the device to these guys, right? You're like running up with the device to give it to them. I think I believe he is. Yes. Me? No. Satchel. No, Satchel. Satchel. Uh, yes. Okay. Yes, so uh, on on his turn, the doc's like, "Oh, great. Um, shit." And we'll get back to that in a second. Gertrude. Um. So I would like to. I don't know if it's possible to hold my action to drive away, but can I also do, uh, is it Chicago Gangs? Try and identify who these people are. Absolutely. There it is. Um, yeah, so by the cut of their their jacket and the fact that it says uh, Swamp Things on, on the back of all of them uh, very prominently, you deduce that these are probably the Swamp Things. Uh, but more importantly, you know that the Swamp Things are a southeastern Chicago gang uh, that are around the, the – that basically stay in the swamps near Calumet, which is um, – sort of an old sort of uh, industrial port harbor that Chicago uses. Um, and at two... Uh, and they're kind of nasty. They're, they're not, you know, they're, they're just... They like to be left alone, and they're, they're mean, and will happily do the murder. So... Um, and you are holding action. Uh, so just if you want to use that, remember to call it out before uh, Nico goes next. All right, this fella. Um, okay. He's going to run up here and try to get on this bike. And then this guy is out of the picture. Oh, that guy's still up, right? He's getting on his bike, and since he's already there, he's going to make a driving test. This could be hilarious. <laughs> Five minus. Okay. He gets to roll a die. Wow. So he kind of 
guns it, but then he sees something coming at him. He kind of turns to the left and just like locks onto the curb with the front wheel and doesn't make any forward momentum. Uh, but <laughs> yeah, he's just got to kind of turn it, and pull it out. But uh, it does does stop him for this for this initiative pass. All right, this fella. I believe he is Dunzo. This fella. Definitely Dunzo. Etienne. Um, Etienne, uh, the guy he was aiming at, is he down? Um, were you aiming at any of the ones that were up here? He was aiming at the one who shot Darcy before. Uh, yeah. yeah, that guy, he's, he's, he fell down. All right, well, he's going to move his attention to the next one that's not down, which is, I believe, that guy right there. Okay, yeah, you can definitely go for that one. And now, the thing is that um, Etienne may have passed, like, uh, the time we were near the crater uh, in the Matrix, but before they went there, he knew he was going somewhere dangerous with possible spirits and stuff, so he didn't take the time to change his, his magazines. So uh, it's APDS that's coming, uh, six-round barriers of APDS coming this guy's way. All right. So that's unfortunate for him. Um, this is Swamp Thing number six. And um, yeah, it's a six round burst, so minus five. So that's going to be. Um... I always operate on, on the on the idea that you can always critically glitch. So that's three net hits and nine base damage. It's 12 and then minus six to armor mm -hmm. is going to be Well, that hurt. Mm hmm. Um, it spins him around, he falls to the ground, and then, but, but you see him, like, kind of grabbing at the, the motorcycle to try to haul himself up, uh, but you're pretty sure that, that you, you got him, got him good. It's and just goes, oh, that back neck, oh, uh, just with the sound, he knows that he fucked up and he forgot <laughs> to switch his magazine, he's like, oh, eh. Like, sorry, Flea, wherever you are, no. um. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Satchel, you, he's got the thing. What are you doing now? So he has the thing. The thing that you gave him, so he took it and he was like, oh, yeah, great, um, shit. Now you are. Now I'm like, where's my money? <laughs> oh, um, yeah. You see that fellow down there? And he points just kind of down into the general mess. One of them has it. <laughs> One of them has my money. They came and took it. You see, so became... I then take the the shit back from him, and then I go. I start walking towards the person who has my money. All right, so he <laughs> is going to not let you take it freely. Uh, okay. So go ahead and make your. It's a. It's a. Unarmed combat attack to grab the thing. Uh, unarmed combat, you said? Unarmed uh, combat. Is that yes. a uh, learned uh, skill, or is that... So you should have... So I have swimming, survival, running, sneaking, pilot, pistols, perception, palming. I do not see... You don't have unarmed. Okay, man. so... You have an unarmed strike. It's over here on uh, your. Oh. I'm in your. I'm in your thing now. So if you look to the right, there's to an the unarmed right? strike button at the top, near the top. Got your vibro sword, your cane, your knife. So if I click core instead of arms. Uh... Well, because it's not your primary melee weapon, Fair so enough. you don't have it equipped there. 
Um, so yeah, core is just your at a glance so that you, you know, like you're like, this is my setup. But when you're using something that's not your normal setup, you have to go over to. Um, is there another input value I need to hit? No, you're just going to hit strike on a strike. It's already set up for you. All right, I hit it. And then in a few seconds or so, it should pop up. There it, it is. Up right away. Uh, we're having a good day. A good, a good satchel day, if you will. No! I'm about this life. <laughs> All right. So. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. That, and then I will count. Uh, Three. It doesn't matter, but um and one. Just gonna chain these together. Okay. Uh so five successes on like kind of he just kind of rolls away like uh uh mine, you know. Um and uh that leaves you kind of up there with him. Um <laughs> He's like, just get it from them. <laughs> just get it. <laughs> like, I'm, what, this is in my hands now. Uh, <laughs> so uh, Satchel kind of like sets himself up for that. Uh, and then do I have any action economy left? You can run. Uh, you don't have any action economy because it's a complex action to make a, an attempt to grab, but uh, your movement is not. So you still have half your movement if you want to run down there. I want to be as close to this motherfucker as I can. <laughs> uh, which one? Uh, the one with the MacGuffin. Oh, with your... So the doctor or one of the bad guys? One of the bad guys. Okay, so you're not sure which one has it, but most of them are lying down. So you're going to head towards ones that are not <laughs> just lying down, I assume. So whichever one is closest, since I'm not sure which one has it. Right. Well, okay, uh, you can go to the closest one. He is one of the ones that is lying down. Okay. Um, and uh, that, is, that is your action then. So we are done now. The guy that you shot, Etienne, clambers up onto the motorcycle and gets to roll a die. Let's see what happens. We're hoping for comedy. Um, there isn't any. He actually gets the bike going and despite everything is able to start driving it down the street to get away. This fella, no, oh, no more. This guy also gets up on his bike and he is going to try to drive away. I believe he gets, this is negative three. Hmm. Well, I mean, maybe. Uh, yeah, he's like kicking the thing, trying to get to start. <laughs> It's, it's just not, not doing it. And we are coming up on Nico again around the way. So Gertrude, did you want to do anything with your held action? Uh, I'm going to start moving the van towards uh, Satchel. Okay, so just straight ahead? Mm-hmm. Okay. Nothing fancy. Easy peasy. Just, just roll slowly up. <laughs> Nothing scary. Uh, and then Nico. Um, well, I guess my, where's Satchel? <laughs> that there he is. Okay, so I'm going to go down here. I'm going to do another. Are these people still alive? Conscious? Uh, most of them are not. Uh, cool. There's this guy right here. Um, this guy right here. He yes, is. The troll? Uh, he's, yeah, the troll. He's on this bike and he's trying to like kick the thing and get it started. And it's just, you know, it's like a. Find a spell that's not gonna take too much. I could just do a blast and just do it. Do a clout. The... If it's just one target, clout. 
because that's way less drain. Look at it. It says minus what on it? Minus five. That's a lot. Yeah, so that's good. Minus the higher the minus, the better it is because it means force minus oh, five. Oh, I wish I. That's why I went for blasts. Anyway, I have a funny story to tell you about clout and the break. All right, so I'm gonna use clout, fetish clout. Apparently, minus two, right? Uh, yeah, you're at minus uh, two. And then the force. The force for this doesn't tell the radius. It tells the... It tells just how, just how powerful it is. So, so wanna... since it's minus two, if I do a six, it's going to be four? No, it's still a six. The force is still a six. You're just losing two off your dice roll to see how many hits towards that six you get. But then I can post edge. Do I have any more edge left? Uh, you don't have any of your edge left. You, have, okay. you might have edge from peanut gallery. So I'm going to just go with six. Okay. Because that's how I'm feeling. A drain's not bad at all. No, because it's minus <laughs> five. So it's six minus five is one, but the minimum is two. Okay. So, I'm gonna... so, so the reality for you is there is never any reason <laughs> to, cast, blast. <laughs> to cast, no, to cast let... clout at anything less than a seven. Right. I see that now. Okay. Uh, so that's five hits hey, on this uh, Just to be real, I'm going to clown on you if you ever, ever plus count it. <laughs> Less than seven? <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> what, what, am I, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> you cast that at six, idiot. <laughs> Well, I mean, I didn't. Okay, but this, you can't clown me right now because that's no, what it this feels time, like. This time, you're, this time you're in the clear. He said, in the this feels like the a, a watered down clowning. <laughs> <laughs> I feel okay, like so. Mr. Rump right now. That's how you're making me feel. I don't, don't want to feel like that. <laughs> okay, so anyway, he's going to try to not get hit, but uh, he's not really good at not getting hit. And spoiler alert, he doesn't even have as much dice as you do have hits to not get hit <laughs> okay um i wish i could see this last this last fight these last three seconds of fight that's how long this has been right it's almost three seconds we are almost three seconds into this so you're telling me satchel is that fast satchel's fucking fast satchel is the flash Satchel's like the, the half a million dollar man, so... <laughs> he's dodging these blasts and these clouts <laughs> all at the same time. <laughs> like, so, the first all right, time so we mixed it up, I was dodging six, bullets. Remember this. Plus, <laughs> five, eleven, minus man. six is... <laughs> these guys don't know what the hell just happened to him. <laughs> uh, and his, his... Oops. Physical is what? Okay, so that hits him, and you see him, like, actually, it almost knocks him off the bike. But then he kind of, like, gets up, and he looks in your direction. Oh, shit. And then he's, like, swatting at the air, and then... Yeah, well, you don't know what he's doing next. Um, it is... But I still have turns, right? Uh, you, you'll probably go before that guy, yes. Okay. All right, so um, Gertrude. Oh, so it looks like it's me and that guy, and then we're at the end of the the passes. Yep. Mm, 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 mm. Okay. I was gonna chase after a motorcycle guy, but I've got two people who are out of the van, so I don't want to leave them behind. So, yeah, I don't, I think it'd take too long to get out the shotgun and shoot at the motorcycle. And I don't think I've got that range. Yeah, it'd be a tough shot. It would you be a tough shot. could shoot out of the other window to someone else. 
Oh yeah, the God, guy. Guys? That guy. Yeah, yeah. That I guy, will do that. He's pretty close. Yeah, I'll lean right, out so, and uh, shoot at him. So you simple action to grab your shotgun from where it's stowed, and then just, oops, simple action. Let's check out. Let's look at the range on that because it is a shotgun. Um, ten forty. It's definitely more than ten, so it's minus one unless you have some sort of vision magnification. Uh, if you I don't, don't it's minus think one. I do. Yeah. <laughs> All right. No, no. Look here. <laughs> <laughs> What happens? He is. Get wrecked. <laughs> he looks, he looks, and you feel like he looks right at you with the shotgun, and then he just turns like he doesn't see it, and you're and you're not gonna actually shoot him in the back with the with a shotgun. Um my goal was more to aim for the bike than the than the person, if I'm being honest. Yeah, well, he's confused. He doesn't know what's going on, and he's going to take at minus five. Okay, uh, that actually... The whole thing, like, he's trying to get on this bike, and the whole thing just gets knocked over along with him. And, uh... Yeah, that's unfortunate for that guy. He, though, gets up afterwards. Um, just looks jacked up. Um, he's trying to pull the bike up. He gets up on it, and he gets to roll a die as the last. As, as the final, um, final turn here. Where'd I go? Uh yeah, um it looks like that bike's not starting for him. That's that's a sad story uh for that guy. And it is time for round two. Everybody I thought you said I got to go again. Oh, that's because of initiative. Right. Yep. Right. You will get to go before they go, I promise. Right, right, right. right. <laughs> Cuz you will you will roll better than them. I promise. All right. So this guy I was like I feel lied to. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Let me see if this is actually pulling those right. It is good. Okay, so that's that guy. And then uh Damn. I mean, I had a crappy roll, but these guys, 17 and 19, with all of that damage. Snap initiative. Where am I? I can't see my token. You're um, right underneath the car. Why am I so close? Because they, because she drove up, and Etienne is still in the vehicle, so I didn't actually drag the token over with it. Okay, so I'm doing that now just so you can see, because I, I see now that. Gotcha. For some reason, I thought this was happening from all across the street. And soon, my initiative should show up. <laughs> Uh, to be fair, Durie, uh, it was happening from across the street at the beginning of last round, and then mm. we got closer. Right, 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 right. I'm going to go ahead and pre etch this because I already clicked it, and then soon it will show up. <laughs> Why does yours always take long? Uh, I have n literally no idea. Uh, it's only on uh, Shadowrun where it takes forever. Like because there's a lot of script going on in the character sheets, I think. 
It's it's really and kind of I'm not thing. like some part of me thinks that uh beyond twenty for uh the D and D ones that I do is kind of playing into it, but I'm not necessarily sure, so I don't wanna Right. Blame okay, that. so Nico, uh you're yeah. gonna be first uh as well no satchel's first. How look at that shit. How? Because Satchel used Edge yeah, to roll all good, the dice. Right? Yeah. To roll all the dice. So Satchel is going to go first. What is Satchel doing in action number one? Uh, so uh, I made it up to the... Uh, this unconscious troll, yes. The unconscious troll. And I tried to give him the stuff. And so he is now unconscious. Uh, yes. So I will try to shoot one of the nearest uh, antagonists with my my Ruger. Okay, so that is uh, this fella right here, who looks jacked up. Uh, you can see he's bleeding out of a wound on on his lower back, and uh, trying to get this bike started. So yes, you can go ahead and. Make for the shooting. Uh, any modifiers? No. You don't have any additional modifiers with this, so look um, at that. Uh, you're edging it every time. My man, uh, I will much. go ahead and take off an additional edge for that. That's fine. Uh, that's all four at this point, right? One, two, three, four. I should have one. <clears throat> okay. All right. Um. <coughs> Since I've only done it twice since we started, right? <laughs> well, since, since, since you edged that one, why don't you just, I mean, just, you know, he's already jacked up. He's on the motorcycle. He's trying to get it started. It won't start. And then you do what? Um, I, I liquefy his brain, apparently. <laughs> yeah, I mean, uh, that's that makes sense. Um, I mean, just, just for shits and giggles. Um, when you hit him for uh, 22 physical, okay. and then he gets a three on the soak, so that's 19 physical. It's like twice as much as normal people even have. Today so we I learned that... He whips his, his Ruger up and kind of fires it hazardly and is completely surprised. When not only like his head and neck are vaporized, but like these like clavicles <laughs> and whatnot, like that entire It's pretty uh, gruesome. Just vaporizes he's like shit. Wow. We got a police not here. Uh, apparently today we learned that a stick and shock can blow your head up. Uh, <laughs> I did not know that. T t thank yep. you. It's a it's a thing that can happen. Um, it's not. He's not using stick and shock. He's got um. A, looks like you use the actual regular bullets. Oh, okay. Um, no, it's because it says SS, but it's single shot, and I yeah, that's single shot. Uh, even with stick and shock, it still would have done the same, just because of where that guy's at, Nico. Muted, and there's the guy that that troll that you hit before. He's still up, and he's trying to just get that. that he's like, still right here. Yeah, he's still right there. All right, let's get rid of him. Okay. Um, I want to do um the Jean Gray right here, the Phoenix, okay. but I don't have that move. I just wanted to throw that out there that that's what I was that's what was on my mind. Um, so is that a move, the Jean Gray? I mean, I mean, what what is the there's mechanics, well, and then there's what you do, right? Right. I'm saying, like, is there is there a spell in here where I can make fire rain from the sky? No. Uh, okay. There, there is a spell that you can, perchance, do that, but you do not know that spell. Okay. But Durier now knows of the spell, so he will go and search. Okay, I'm going to cast Cloud at a three. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to do it at seven. And you get seven hits, and your drain is two, so what happens there? 
uh, nothing. <laughs> okay. So, yeah, he's on the bike. He's already kind of like bruised up from the last clout and he's trying to get it started. Uh, and you what? You're asking me? Yeah, I'm asking you, like, how'd that go? Like, tell me. I feel like, um, because I was, I've been, I don't know why this whole scene angered Nico. He, I don't know the chaos of it all. And I feel like he's tried to get into this game too. <laughs> 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 they didn't, and now he's with a new group of people, so he's feeling real bold. So he just like swells up this big ball of cloutness, and he kind of aims it this way that it'll like kind of go up right above the troll, and then hover for a second, and then just come smashing down. And, and I feel like there's a, if 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 I had in my brain, there's a, a mini dent in the asphalt as well. Or at least in his bike. Yeah. Well, I mean, the whole thing smashes down, and um, yeah, probably under him, you'll find that there's cracks in the asphalt. That's there you go. completely legit. Okay. Um, and then if you know that that gif with the little baby at the football game, it goes like, "Yes." <laughs> Nico does one of those. Yes. There's the one where she's eating the blue candy, and then there's the other one where it's the little boy. Yeah, little boy who's in okay. the, the, the stands. Yeah. All right, uh, Gertrude. Um, you're up. All right. Um, how far away is the guy that managed to get on the bike? He is. 21 squares. Okay. 21 meters. If I remember, uh, try to run. Yeah, so I, I, I've got the squares kind of set up. It's, it's a little bit loose because 110 feet is, is way more than 21 meters. So you're but... telling me that America in 2070, if it were not that, fucking finally folded to the metric system? Well, if I, I mean, remember. they're using Japanese money now, so. I mean, hey, uh, that, that's fine. I just want to be clear. It was probably when uh, Canada decided to join for the UCAS that there was part of the negotiation was to switch to meters. As an American, uh, I think we're no longer American once we use metric. That's the one thing that is uniquely us. We'll go back to the cast then because I'm sure they're still using feet and inches. All right. Um, <laughs> just leaving that right where it is. <laughs> I'm sitting here like, oh, okay. All right. So I think that that is going to be, we talked about that was going to be too far. That was going to be a hard shot for my shotgun. It's just so... a minus one for the distance. Oh. Uh, I would say it's another minus one for just all the crap that's in between you and him. <laughs> Well, yeah. sure. Let's give it a go. I would like to try and stop him from leaving the scene in case he's got what we are looking for. All right. All right. We'll do that. Two hits. That is number six. Okay. It's going to be bad. Mm. Mm. Aww. Ah. Poor buddy. Um. Yeah. So. I'm sorry. I I I know I've been pointing out rules all evening, but then he's gonna take damage for the crash. That's gonna inch you. I'm I'm already on that. <laughs> <laughs> I am already on that. Uh. So. 
he gets hit and he goes flying uh kind of forward with the bike it turns and then like the front wheel turns sideways and that makes it flip over and then he just kind of is following along something goes that way could be his arm you're not sure uh and then he hits the ground and just slides quite a ways you're thinking probably dead Gertrude peeks over the top of the shotgun and goes, oh, that's what a crush injury looks like. <laughs> How many band-aids would we need to fix that? This is not a band-aid problem anymore. Uh, uh, he, like, uh, Satchel starts, like, cataloging questions for later. <laughs> okay. So with that, uh, we are going to exit initiative. And we are going to take 10 minutes and find out what happens in the aftermath when we get back. And we are back. Uh, before the break, we came upon the Field Museum in Chicago to find that um, the good doctor was under assault from gang members who are wearing the, uh, the cut of the local swamp things. Um, Day Tripper, the uh, other fellow, I don't know if you got his name, but he uh, he was holding a, a large shield in front, keeping them from being shot by all the gang members. Uh, and then in the span of about four seconds, um, the team came in and did murder, uh, along with um, less murdery stuff. But no one died, right? Oh, no, people died. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, with the, the Ruger. That's right. I forget about the Ruger. Yeah. yeah. Also, Gertrude killed somebody, like, hardcore. Like, <laughs> like, probably the messiest death ever so far in the game. Even, even the time Satchel blew the guy's head off? Yeah, this is worse. This is okay. Worse. It was kind of death by motorcycle. Yeah, he. I mean, there's like, <laughs> there's, like, a long streak of, like, blood and gore from, like, here to, like, maybe 50 meters down, and okay. it's... Yeah, don't don't go can, down can there. Dirk, uh, I mean, can Satchel be uh, like that's way worse than a curb? Like <laughs> that's like, that, why you why don't ride you motorcycles don't wanna... without a helmet and leather jacket. <laughs> <laughs> this Teachable is a warning. <laughs> yeah. Noted. Noted. <laughs> way better so, than an airline. <laughs> yeah. So um. There's a lot of unconscious or dead um, gang members uh, of various races, human or uh, the trolls. Um, there's a lot of really craptastic bikes. Um, uh, hey, Satchel, uh, the guy said, I heard a guy tell you through your earbuds that uh, one of them had the, 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 the thing we came to get. The, what was his name again? Checking my notes. Dr. Uh, Hirsch. Yeah, no, I was talking about like the, the cylinder. Oh, oh the, yeah. the cat cylinder? Mm hmm. Yeah, he, he said that we had to go somewhere for it. Do I need to make a check to see exactly where we need to go? Or. Well, he just said one of the guys, one of the bad guys took it. Yeah. Uh, yeah, this, this dude took it down the. What street are we? <laughs> you take it down East Way this way. Yeah, well, something like that. Yeah, that thing. Oh, okay. I thought it was here. So uh, he he looks around through the door of the van. I yeah, okay. Uh, At well, the top, um, Doctor Hirsch and uh, and his buddy they've dropped the thing, and uh, <laughs> and they're just like, uh, yeah. But thanks, and they turn and just kind of go inside. And Day Tripper just closes the doors. To think I was going to ruin Darcy's suspension for them. And I can't ruin Darcy for anybody. <laughs> I would for one of y'all. It would be worth it. Aww. Aww. 
but not for those jerks. Yeah. Agreed. Uh... Are you dropping that spell, Nico? Um. Yes, I will drop the spell. I was kind of um, waiting for the the vehicle to acknowledge the the carnage or the lack of carnage and the destruction. So I was just sitting there, like smiling, waiting for them. They're passing compliments, and it there wasn't one coming to me. <laughs> <laughs> so he just okay. Um, well, I mean, Gertrude did just say that she would like allow Darcy to get jacked up for you. So. Well, usually when Kaida trains Nico, he's he always pats him on the shoulder and says, "You know, that a boy." But did, did we see the effect of the uh, chaotic world on the outside, or is that a yes? Because it was a physical manifestation. Okay. So everyone that was caught inside when it started uh, is got got hit with it but you can see it from the outside it's just that because you kind of know what's going on like you know what you're getting into it doesn't that that's how i i am making the rules fit the thematics of it but to be honest as far as nico's concerned like this group of people really couldn't they'd have to like shoot him in the forehead for him to like not like them or to feel some sort of negative way so he doesn't care <laughs> No, that was fancy magic. I I don't know what happened, but um, since you're the only magic person in the van, I assumed that that was you. So I don't I don't really have the wherewithal to know how these things work. Well, when things emanate from my hand, usually that means that it's me. Well, yeah, but I was driving, so I wasn't watching your hands. And I was watching out the, the gun ports. So. Because good drivers don't watch people's hands. They watch the wheels. That's right. That makes sense. Mm-hmm. It's how you evol- uh, avoid getting involved in accidents. You watch the road. Well, since we have to go in there, I guess if I take down the spell, it won't affect us. So I'll take it down, and I guess we can go search these people's pockets. Yeah, I'm not too sure what it did. It, it, it seemed to distract them. That was... Very useful, I guess. I, I guess. It makes their world chaotic. I like to call it chaotic world. Okay. That's uh, a good name for that spell. You know exactly what you're getting. I like it. Very <laughs> you know, direct. It's straight, straightforward. Yep. That's also what Kaida told me the spell was called, so. Okay. Uh, yeah, so there's, like I said, there's dead guys. There's not quite dead guys there's a couple guys that are moaning but they they're not really much for uh talking or moving around um what's your uh game plan here um i I don't have to do anything to drop the spell right no No, you just like just drop it all right so satchel you said we need to find um where they took the thing just just to make sure let's have a look and tan is gonna just search gangers before we leave, make sure we're not leaving it back there. Yeah. All right. Um, so yeah, you do spend some time searching the gangers. Um, make a perception test. Um, and who's making the sense? Whoever Everybody. is doing okay. the searching. I'm going to do mine then. Do, 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 do. Let me make sure I have this uh, edge turned off. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you really didn't find it. <laughs> and we'll see. Oh, Two's dude, all around. Two's yeah, all I'm, around. I'm hype. So yeah, you look at all the all you got kind of go through everything. You, they've got um, you know, they've all got some some basic weapons. There's a couple of, like combat axes, um, but not any canisters of cat uh number 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 number. They look to us. Dirty liars. I'm mad. <laughs> Didn't you say that they said the, the thing was down here? 
Um, they mentioned the gang took it, so I assume maybe uh, maybe one of them made an early escape before we showed up. Or they lied to us. I mean, we, we got them what they needed, so I don't Listen, see why they would do that. All I'm going to say is this. I grew up on the rough and tough streets of Chicago. This is a classic bait and switch. They got what they wanted and left us there. They didn't even put any money on the counter. They lied to us. And we must have retribution. Because at this point, Nico's just feeling really tough. <laughs> so do you right, want retribution so. on the doctors or on the gang members that stole it? I don't think the gang members stole it. I think they lied to us. But then again, I could be wrong. But like you really feel like just like one or two people that we didn't see randomly got away. Cause when we drove up here, the first thing we did was chaotic world them. So they were stuck. And then the dude said, it's one of them. And yet there's nothing here. So then Nico does one of these crack knuckles thing that Duryea can't do. And <laughs> he says, there must be retribution. Well, we can go talk to them. Where are they? Uh, yeah, so uh, so to recap, uh, they escaped. We didn't get paid. We, they don't have the thing that we're looking for. We're getting paid when we bring the thing back to our other guy, the, the Tatis Monger. I thought that... Mothin? I'm so confused. I thought that when, when you went up there, Satchel, you asked for the money. And they said that one of the gang members had the money, right? Something it's, a thing. it's a thing they have that we... Yeah, because we're, we're, we're looking for the... the MacGuffin. <laughs> we're looking right. for the MacGuffin, and then we bring this back to Lothane, and then Lothane gives us the new... Yeah, we but, were supposed to exchange the counter for the canister. That we were supposed to go get the data and then bring it back to them, and they would give us the canister for doing that errand for them. And the canister is what we don't have. Correct. Because they said the gang had the canister. That is yeah. true. Yet there is no canister. Correct. Because they lied and we must have retribution. Checks out. <laughs> I guess. I mean, I. <laughs> Would be worth checking on them before we go out and try and fight an entire gang. Well, and he looks, and he looks around. He's like, I don't know much about gangs, but that seems like a good chunk of them. Can I make a Chicago gangs check? Go ahead. Yes. All right, I'm gonna make a Chicago. Uh, can we all do one? You can all make a Chicago gangs check if you would like. Yes. Rough and tough streets of Chicago. Shot town. Yeah, so rack. One. <laughs> Satch was like, I heard of this gang. Swamp things. They're from the swamp. That's their the swamp things. Swamp things from the swamp. Uh however, uh Nico. Nico knows about everything. This. Probably not everything. Like Probably not bit. everything. So the Swamp Things uh, are a very large gang, actually. Like, it pretty much covers uh, the totality of the very southeastern part of uh, Chicago proper, where Calumet is. So this is not the majority of their numbers. It is some. Uh, I mean, they're not like 100 strong, but they're definitely more than the 10 you see here. Um, they, uh, the, Swamp is sort of a kind of a semi um, like toxic area because just like uh, just toxic runoff from like the old industrial stuff and all the chemicals and everything that's that's there. It's not uh, radioactive, but you probably don't want to drink the swamp water. I guess you probably don't want to do that even if it isn't toxic. But um... The big thing, though, is that there is 
rumors that the leader of the swamp things is a um is some kind of giant monster oh hell no um but um that's just a rumor uh they call it the foul one but foul one the foul one like a bird a lot of times these things are uh no not like the bird like uh, a stinky like, like the stinky uh yeah, yeah sure okay. the stinky um but a lot of times like you know these gangers they give themselves crazy stupid names to like sound really big and mean At the end of the day who cares They're if you're named bird. the foul one or if you're named blue and pink <laughs> you you told us blue and pink we're like <laughs> so i guess it is. <laughs> so um so i relay all of that information to the um group of people in, in that i'm with and then um i say that i don't think a group of that size would have left like one person would have ran while the others fought so you're saying more of them ran while the others fought. <laughs> I mean, I guess if there's a, I don't, I don't really even see that either. I mean, that's not really how gangs get down. Gangs are kind of like, you know, ROD, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, ride that's, or die. ride or die. Ride or die, right. Oh, you know? okay. Didn't and if, that, but. Yeah, so it's not ROD run or die, it's the opposite. So, I if mean, they could have. No, go ahead. If, if they were maybe losing a fight or something like that, even still, it'd be questionable. But what what reason would they have had to run before we got here and left these other ten dudes here? What if these guys were providing cover while the other people got away with the item? That's smart. I mean, Lothan wants it, right? So maybe other people want it. It's not like it's Lothan's magic stick that we got that nobody knows about. But what was the immediacy? Whatever's in the box? I don't no, know. I mean, I mean, gener- like if it was us four, right? And one of us had to run with the thing. That probably means that the rest of us are looking pretty bad. It's a pretty bad situation. Like things aren't looking well. Do we feel like that's what we rolled up on? I mean, this guy up there, and uh, I feel like I, I end up saying that a lot. I, I don't know much about magic, but he had a shield blocking all the bullets from 10 people. That's That seems pretty badass and tough to me, so maybe uh, they figured they would occupy the mage while the other guys run i mean you took them all half of them all in one spell the thing about the cow chaos maybe he just didn't have that spell i mean everybody doesn't have chaotic world Uh, more power to you Uh, the point is that if uh, maybe they just they were just shooting at them so they didn't do that kind of powerful stuff uh to their running guy so do you trust the guys and that they were telling the truth because they specifically pointed to they said one of them has it they didn't say like some people ran off with it they specifically pointed to these guys that are laying around us but you know what here's the thing here's what i want to suggest this is a massive 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 gang so that's three dudes so we can go for the. We can go and track down these hundred dudes, and hopefully find the one with the canister. Or we could track down these three mages, put some bullets in their kneecaps, t- interrogate them, make them tell us the truth, and then. And they probably wrong, have to go. <laughs> if if we're wrong, you know, uh, three dead mages versus pissing off an entire army of the south side of Chicago. So the two mages, as far as you know, and they're just inside the museum. Because they went Weren't inside. Three mages? Yeah. Just two. Okay. Just two. So then I stand corrected. Two mages. So There's two mages. Like we and we already have sensed them, and we know that they're not as they're only as strong as me. So and I'm a new mage. Yeah, but you fucked up these ten guys. Anyway. I guess we can go talk to them at first, but um only my idea would be to still go for the gang first. 
maybe um you say you say there are a lot of them maybe if they coordinated that we can find some information of um about it like i mean and he, he looks at the i'm a uh, guest on this party boat so I'll, i'm just letting you guys know what i know this there's like a whole like do you know anything about the south side of chicago they I call know. it they still call it chirac I, I I don't know what that means. So Iraq is like a well, it was. I don't know if it is anymore because I don't really do world history. But it's like a really back then when it got the names like this really chaotic place. Iraq was you know war ridden, and so since Chicago is as equally war ridden and has so many the the the, the mortality rate was really high. Specifically, the south side of Chicago it was nicknamed. Chirac, Chicago, Iraq, and they still call it that. And this is the gang that runs the South Side of Chicago. So definitely need some armor for Darcy if we're going to go down there, is what I heard. And for me, um... <laughs> we might want to go. Can... We might we might want like mine sweeping equipment if that exists. <laughs> um, Maybe we should get called call some people back at the uh, collective too. Maybe we should get like one or two other people to come with us since there's an army of just them. one or two. I mean, chaotic world. I can I don't know how how big I can cast chaotic world, and that's pretty much my flashy spell. So I mean, if, I we, if, we need, <laughs> if we need to flex gang muscle, uh, that depends because if we if we are pushing another gang. Um, Gang, other gangs might not be so happy about it, but I mean, I got good connection with Becky ninety nine from the Angels. If we need muscles, why don't we do? Why don't we do some? Why don't we go inside and then we'll talk to them, and I'll just sense their auras and tell if they're lying. I didn't know that was an option. So you you <laughs> go ahead and do that, and, I, I, and I'll check these passed out guys for cumlings and and anything I can glean from that. If they exchange messages with people running away, or so we're splitting the team. Not, I mean, like, are you admissible? By like a hundred feet. Well, <laughs> am I admissible in court? <laughs> what? <laughs> Like how 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 uh, how accurate are you? Because like I remember old school truth machines weren't like. Uh, well, I'm not a machine. Exactly, that's what I'm saying. Are you admissible in court? Because I know I'm I'm literally machine. one with the forces of nature. Okay, you guys so figure that out. Then. Go. Sure. Yeah. So this sounds like <laughs> okay. a, a Darcy conversation for later. Let's yeah. go. Uh, let's go talk to our new friends. So before then, we go in there, um, okay. I want to summon a spirit. Okay. Um, I want to summon a spirit of... <laughs> Let me see. I was going to do fire. Um, but I don't have a spirit of fire. No, um, don't do, you don't have a spirit of fire. I guess I'll go with earth. Okay. Um... I want to get that guy I had before. What was what force was he? Uh, force eight is what you had summoned before. Um, Do I have anything um, up right now that's taking away from my um, dice count? You don't have anything that's taking away from your dice count except for your um, your stun, which is which is taken, which, which is, is five. five. Yep. Right. So what, how's that going to affect what I do right now? It's a minus one. Your roll. So then I need to roll a nine. No, it's just a minus one to your roll. So okay. you're gonna if so you're gonna roll your summoning against the spirit's force that you choose, and if your summoning is normally thirteen dice, you want to get to roll twelve. But then I can post edge. But I don't want to post edge. Yeah, so you can I'm post edge. Okay. So that's under skills, and then that's under summoning, and then so that's... is it a force? What force are you summoning? I'm gonna go with force eight. Because I want a okay. bunch of... This is going to tell me how many actions I get, right? Uh-huh. Okay. Damn! Lord Jesus! Um, Did not summon the spirit. Probably not. 
Can I try again? You can, but after you soak 10 drain. What? Because I rolled five out of my eight, and it's two times what I roll. So I just passed out? No, I don't know. You have to go to your magic and go up to the top where it says drain and just click that real quick. And um, whatever you get, hey, good job. No drain. I don't think I'm going to try again. <laughs> I mean, you could go lower. You could go six. You could go. Uh, goodness. I will go six. That's a good. That sounds good. All right. I you just need a little. get something also, but uh, that's fine. What did you forget? Does it help me or does it hurt? It helps, it helps you. It helps. What you. did you forget? That your your spirits are supposed to come one one force stronger. So you summon a six, but then it comes as a seven. Okay. So then wait, I didn't summon that one, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> okay. So then let me try it again. It is four six. Oh my god. <laughs> this is a mess. Come on. Wait a second, I'm gonna summon Urk out. Urk. Goodness oh, gracious! Wow. I just hit every single one there. Man, I'm sorry. What is happening? Oh three. three. You're still up. You have you're at eight now, so it's minus two. Uh you don't have to put the minuses for wounds though. If you're putting the minuses for wounds, you don't have to. What do you mean? Because the wounds are automatic. It's automatically counting that negatives from your wounds. And my heal, my heal spell can only heal my physical damage, right? Your heal spell can never heal drain. Like a feedback loop. Okay, well, let's screw it. Let's just go in there. My spirits are mad at me right now. You know why they're mad at me, too? I can tell you why. They heard Satchel call him a dog. <laughs> That's exactly what it is. And I turn to Satchel and I say that, and then I just storm into the building. Okay. So uh, you don't storm into the building because the doors are closed. Uh, so I run into the door. You go to the Why door. Why are dogs a bad thing? You're at the door. Okay. And then um, I've reached toward the hand. Wait. Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to kick it. Okay. It's, um, you kick it. It's pretty solid. Um, it looks like it opens out, and so you just kick it. Because <laughs> when they closed the door, they grabbed it and pulled the door in. <laughs> okay, so then um, I'm so afraid to touch the doorknob for some reason, but I'm going to do that, and I'm going to pull the door outward and see what happens. So you grab the door handle, and you don't die. And you try to open it, but uh, apparently it has been locked. Goodness gracious. And then I look at Satchel and I go, you got that Ruger? Did, did you try knocking? They lied to us. And then they closed the door and locked it. <laughs> that, that doesn't mean they won't open it if you knock. Okay. But I do the police knock. Uh, a few moments pass, and then... Hello? <laughs> Hi? Yes? Um, we're, we're, uh, we just have a few questions. Okay. We, like, uh, Sasha... Oh, it's just me? Oh, yeah, it's just you. It's just me? You, hey, yeah, it's just you. I'm just... Off in the uh, in the cut, okay. In the Hi, cut, like I just, waiting. I just had a few questions. Um, we we kind of got turned around and we needed some directions. <laughs> yeah, just um, uh, go northwest. You'll get there. <laughs> northwest, as in like up. I don't have a compass with me. So I just need, look, dude, help us out. They took your thing. Who is they? they? The, the guys that just were shooting at us. If I don't understand, sir, if, if they took it, why are you hiding on the other side of the door? Because they're shooting at us. But they're not shooting. Do you hear any gunshots? 
Do you see I walked from the other side of where they were shooting to this door and there's no more gunshots, right? So clearly they're not shooting at you anymore. So are you hiding from them or are you hiding from us? Why would we be hiding from you? That's what I'm trying to say. So can we have a conversation face to face like mage to mage? You sure there are no more of them out there? I mean, they're out there, but none of them are conscious, and some of them are very dead. You hear a click, and the door opens slightly. You see the old man's face looking. He looks past you. It closes. You hear, I think it's okay. <laughs> and then it clicks again and opens all the way up. And there are Dr. Hirsch and his friend in the Hawaiian t-shirt and flip-flops. I'm usually very nice, but I don't like, you know, I feel like that was a little rude, but I'm going to let it pass because I've learned to live and let live. So we'll start fresh. My name is Nico. We know. <laughs> start fresh. So this is where you tell me your name, as if this is the first time we're encountering. It's fresh. Okay, I'm Dr. Hirsch. This is a day tripper. Nice to meet you guys. So my associate Satchel tells us that you told him that the canister was taken by one of these supposed thieves. Can you yes. point out which one it was? Kind of, kind of at this point, it's kind of like, wait, aren't you my associate? You joined us. <laughs> <laughs> and then I say, I say, you know what? You're right. Um, <laughs> I guess since my clients, I'm their gang liaison, told me that you told them that one of these supposed thieves stole the canister. Could you point out which one it was? And then at the same time, I want to go ahead and assent before he says his answer. Um, can I do that? I mean, it was. You can. Okay. It was. Uh, one of the ones with the black leather vest that was on a motorcycle and in a gang. I mean, I don't know. Just... Day Tripper looks over and goes, he wants to know if it was Tom, Gary, Fred, or John. Dr. Hirsch looks at him for a second. I don't know their names. Day Tripper says, yes, that's, that's my point. And then they look back at you. Um, and that, it was one of those random gangers. Uh, there was a bunch. They came up in here. We were back there doing something. We saw them. We're like, hey, yo, don't do this stuff. Uh, and, and then they ran. And uh, some of them drove away. And the other one turned and started shooting. So probably so that we wouldn't go after them. And instead, I had to like spend time making wall. Oh, you see that wall? It was a glorious wall. Really good wall. Big wall. Stopped all the bullets. Okay, so while he was doing that, I did an sensing test and I didn't get a very good one. I didn't get a good read on them. So then I just tried to read their auras. Yes, that's the one you should do if you're trying to read their auras. Okay. Um, so that... One moment. Right. So yeah, they um they both look like mages, probably around your level of power. Uh which is weird. Which is weird. You have some magical theory and, and stuff skills. So that big wall, um, that seems like that would be powered by a lot more magic than what these guys are kind of showing. Uh give me a arcana or magical theory. I'm going to see which one I have a higher rating on before I do it. That's exactly what you should do. Um, Arcane is not bad, but our magical theory would be under knowledge. Yes. No, I don't have theory. I have threats. Yeah, threats is not going to work. It's not going to work. Um, so I, have, I have American Sign Language. Nope. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> what is UCAS? Uh, that's uh, the United and Canadian American states. Okay. 
I think that's the only thing I have to try. Damn it. I knew that wasn't going to work. It's so low. You just don't know as much enough about the magic to kind of understand maybe how or what was going on. So, yeah, just all. You just feel like that was a really strong wall. And, um, but they don't know that I don't know. They don't know but I can know. sense that there's something off because I've already got my eyebrow up on these dudes. That was, so you did that wall all by yourself? My, uh, I only asked because um, my mentor, he kind of disappeared. And I'm new to magic, and I've never seen anything that incredible from one mage. Yeah. I did that. Pretty fantastic. Um... You should probably uh, tell him, doctor. Yeah, look at the doctor very curiously. So you're new to magic, you say? I mean, I've been woke for a while, but I never really had anyone to show me how to live woke. Have you initiated? No. Ah, he hasn't initiated. Um... They trip for like, <laughs> he hasn't initiated yet? Wow. I mean, I saw that Chaotic World spell that you cast down there. That was pretty impressive. But you haven't initiated yet. Uh, well, um, that's, probably what, that's probably why it's confused. It's probably why it's confused. Just, you know, if, um, if you knew about deeper secrets, then um, probably wouldn't be confused. Uh, to which Dr. Hurst says, yes. Um, are you a hermetic by any chance? Uh, you are um, you are shamanic, right? I know. I was gonna make a really horrible joke, so I'm so glad that you you spoke right yes. then. <laughs> um, uh, no, I'm I'm not a Herman. I'm a I'm a shaman. That's unfortunate. Otherwise, we would be able to uh, guide you towards the deeper secrets. But um, I'm certain there's somebody here in uh, in Chicago you could you could ask about that. Um, hmm. Just uh, so I guess um, I imagined he has yeah yeah um to which day trippers yeah he he has uh, okay yeah so uh, when you were trying to ascend us on the astral um what you saw was uh, wh whoops try again try again what yes. do you mean our auras take a look. <laughs> So at this point, he feels really like, oh shit, I just got put on blast. Uh, I'm trying, you. <laughs> I was like, I, I, I was, I thought about being like, I didn't, I didn't do that. But at this point, they're talking about deeper secrets and shit. So I'm like, okay, um, all right, uh, I'll, I'll read your auras again. All right, with a three. So the first thing is, is that Day Tripper is not a person. Day Tripper is a spirit. Oh. So can I, and, but Nico actually just did that. <laughs> and um, he could probably crush you. Like that's what you're reading off the aura level, oh. like intensity of the magic. Right. Uh, and and Dr. Kirsch also is about, uh, you say raw power, one and a half times your strength uh, in magic, raw power, just raw power. Um, so why was the reading before different? Have you ever seen Dragon Ball Z? I was asking um, the doc, I wasn't asking Danny. <laughs> um, but so no, I haven't seen it. Sometimes people suppress their power levels. <laughs> okay. <laughs> how, how, how does Satchel know so much about magic? Um, yeah, so... I so watch a lot of truths. <laughs> when you, uh, when you, you know. study the Deeper Secrets, um, there are additional powers and abilities that you can uh, glean from, from the uh, various metaplanes. Uh, masking is one of them. The ability to mask your aura and cause it to appear as something it is not. So when you guys told us that you 
lost the canister. You were telling the truth. Well, yes, they took it. And then I turn back to the group and say, no retribution. <laughs> I'm, I'm quite pleased to hear that. Uh, I'm pleased that there are deeper secrets. and <laughs> That's literally all that's bouncing around his head now. It's like, I'm also pleased that I realized that you guys are way stronger than I thought you were. So I was totally about to come in here and try to smoke you guys up. And I'm pretty sure that wouldn't have landed well for me, especially since I'm by myself. Hey, Tripper looks over. I, I kind of like this guy. Too bad you can't train him. Eh. I mean, I'm cool with Hermans. It's just a different... Uh, you wouldn't be able to learn the way that I teach. <laughs> uh, so Nico kind of looks back and forth between the group and the, and the Hermans. It's in the, the back. <laughs> <laughs> I know it's a hermit, but I'm going to say Hermans. And then uh, it's he goes, the okay, so were any of these dudes, were they with more? Were there more than this, this group? Or was it yeah, just a few them? Of them wrote, a few of them rode away. Um, <sighs> Do you know? And they went northwest. No, they didn't go northwest. I, they probably went south back to wherever they came from. Chirac. All right. So, yes, down by the bikes, Etienne. Um, it is not at all difficult to figure out where these guys have been, what they've been doing, where they went all kinds of good stuff because there's some bikes and some of them do have functioning uh are functioning as matrix devices oh. and that means that they have you know such things as where they've been and what they've been doing as bikes i mean you know and between the comlinks and the bikes i'm like yeah that's where they went and that's where these other guys went to yes it's it's super not hard they i mean it's Swamp living gangers. They... All right. It's end comes up the stairs like, uh, you done retribution. And anyway, are we done here? I know where the gangers went. Yeah, we're done. Uh, then I turn back to the dudes and I'm like, listen, I enjoyed this. And then I run down the stairs. Okay. Um, <laughs> all right. Well, uh, with that, everyone gathers around. Um, Etienne also noticed that um, there is some cyberware amongst these guys. Oh, um, point to note. Uh, some of them are cybered, so the guys we're going to go face may be cybered as well. Uh well, I guess I have time on the drive for another Psyche because I may be working the Matrix on this one since I don't have uh, armor. There, there's some armor here. Oh, that's a, that's, a, that's a point. Well, if we don't take time to rest, at least I can... I mean, just shaking out the armor jacket <laughs> from yeah. one of them. I, I can I can put that on. Or wait, I mean, that's not, I'm not very good at uh, bullshitting people, but uh, could, could we use jackets to get a little bit further deep in? What do you think, gang liaison? Could we take some jackets and try and sneak in? Pretend that oh. we're, we're part of the gang? I mean, sure, except they would know that we're not because, you know, we don't look like any of the gangs. So uh, um, the best option would probably be for me to do some magic. But I'm feeling a little woozy here. 
And yeah, no, enough enough magic for you. Look well, like I, I just don't think it would be smart for us to pose as these gang members looking like we look. Also, one of them definitely got to look at our faces. And then Nico looks at the troll. <laughs> don't hate me, guys. But then Nico goes, um, he pulls out a knife. And he, he definitely ganks this guy. <laughs> what? You okay. mean he didn't have a magic spell that could make him forget? Oh, have the memory spells. She has the memory spells, and she's in the hospital. And and I mean, if we go now, we don't have to worry that one guy doesn't know. Our... <laughs> yeah, listen. Well, we don't have to worry they have a gang leader people. that is a monster. <laughs> Apparently, he's some sort of massive bird. Okay, and he. <laughs> at the end of the day, well, his, his name is the Foul, and I don't want him coming after me. You have to realize what? I'm a gang liaison. Really, I don't well, really... uh, does that mean like <laughs> I mean, it's it's disgusting and stuff. It doesn't mean bird. A foul is a bird. A disgusting is a bird. So I assume it's a really large, nasty ass bird. <laughs> But at the end of the day, we don't want a gang this size looking for us. Yeah, but we're going to go and attack their hideout. So I think one stray gang member that saw us to do one of your spell is that much of a worry. But you stabbed them in the neck, so now I guess it's done. Hey, why, why do I feel like I'm getting dragged for killing a guy when she literally dragged a dude to his death? Uh, I shot the motorcycle and there was an accident because he was not properly prepared to ride his motorcycle. You're right. It was it was his fault. It and was we his fault. Fighting. He didn't have a helmet. And we were fighting. This guy is done with fight was. I don't Okay. Right. Let's get back in the van and go to the location. Uh, Let's I grab some jackets get... and then let me get a good look at four of these guys' faces. And then when we get there, I'll do my best to uh, mask us up. But I, I will either need to wait until we rest or I'll have to use a stem patch. But if we use right. a stem patch, I don't want to use it till we're there. Which guys? So I can like uh, pick up their names and shit. Well, clearly, this one? one of the trolls. Yeah. Just for height's sake. I um, mean, then I don't know. You guys pick, <laughs> pick a pick a face, pick a face. And I like yeah, that. One. He gets he gets a bunch of names, <laughs> for guys. We picked up so we can go. Like, yeah, I'm Jim, and the other guy is not gonna go. What the fuck are you talking about, Fred? So just so we can match up faces and names. I like that. Takes pictures of like his face with the cumbling with his name next to him. But don't pick the dead troll. Not him. Okay, whatever. I don't want to take a picture of that. Let's get back in the van and uh, see if we can find where there's, <laughs> they took that thing. But I know where. Uh, I got the jacket. So this is just. Uh, should we. Do we have time to rest? I feel like they could move it somewhere else if we stop for a minute. But uh, apparently you need to re refresh your magic or I don't know what. Yeah, you, you, you little fuzzy guy. You, you, need, you need to rest for your magic? I mean, I would need, we would need to like go tomorrow if, if that's going to happen. Otherwise, it's going to have to be a stem patch. I, I I got one of those, but we should wait until we are ready in the take of the action. Yeah. And let's move. All right. Let's move. Well, um, with that. He's going to send um, the location to... Um, to Gertrude to make sure she knows where we're going and stuff. All right. So, Calumet Swamp 
isn't really what most people think of when they think of a swamp. You think, you know, swamp, water, green, alligators, reeds, but um, here in Chicago, the swamp means uh, cold, low wetlands um, or cold, wet lowlands uh, that people try to build low income housing on. Uh, and then it, you know, sank probably. And then they built more and built more and more. And eventually, uh, you know, you mix in a little bit of toxic runoff from, um, you know, industry, uh, some feral gangs uh, mm -hmm. that, um, that somehow made it together with, um, by made it together, like survived even despite like the insects and stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, and then also, you know, whatever paranormal critters are lying about waiting to uh, devour you. So that's Calumet Swamp. It's, um, it's a nice place. Uh, nice place to visit. Um, you drive through several neighborhoods heading towards the actual location that you're looking for. Uh, which is really kind of close to the water's edge uh, where Calumet River kind of comes in. All right. So right in the middle here, there's like a little brown house kind of by itself. That is your location that you're wanting to go to. Eventually, so driving up in it right top middle there. Yep. What's the approach? What's your approach like? There's um as you're driving through, there's uh the roads are actually a lot clearer down here, not for not because people cleaned up, but just because there was less here to get blown up and knocked into the roads to block stuff. Um, there are some squatters throughout the neighborhoods. You see, you know, like children kind of dash away from the yard back into the house as, as the vehicle drives by, and then they kind of peek out uh, looking to see, you know, where you might be going. But, um, but other than that, it seems quiet. There's, there's not a lot of activity. And we are on the, we're looking to go to the neighborhood side and not that like industrial park kind of side. Right. So if you look like right in the middle of the image, there's a sort of a silver building on the north side of the road. Mm -hmm. uh, if you go directly up from that is a brown house. And that is the function. All right, so we think that the, or we know that the canister is in the clubhouse, or is that the assumption? Is that how gangs work? They keep things in clubhouses? That is the assumption. That's where they all kind of came from. It looks like that's where they all, the ones that went back, went back to. Um, whether they dropped it off on the way or gave it to somebody who met them here, or they still have it, uh, uncertain. All right, Mr. Gang Liaison. <sighs> okay. Look, if this was like a, a car race, I would be all over it, but it is not. So how do these stem badges work? <laughs> did, I, did, did, did I get to rest at all? Actually, go car ahead, car? yeah, because it's, it's about an hour drive, but you have to drop your other spells. You cannot maintain spells whilst um, resting. Which spells do I have up? Combat sense and um... so I would have had to drop them, and now I'm going to have to redo them. You'll have to. You'd have to recast them. All right, let us play. All right, uh, give me a body plus willpower. Body plus willpower. Um, roll twenty. I love you to the internet rollers. Whoever controls the <laughs> in the ether. Okay, I'm going to do a body plus willpower, and I'm going to, okay, that gave me three. So that's three, um, 
That's three boxes that I got just now, right? Yep, you got three boxes back. So you went from eight to five. I actually didn't think that that's what that was equal to. I thought there was going to be some sort of anti-roll. Dope. Nope. So now when I do the stem patch, well, I get to do what I just did again, though, right? No. Uh, I- you get to do that once an hour. You said it was like an hour and a half. Yeah, so you only get to do it once an hour. Yeah, but if I like, give you, so a you can patch, wait. Yeah, I don't you get can, to do it. You like can also for like, wait. Like okay. if you think if you want to like, you know, do that whole thing, you know, stakeout yeah. kind of thing, you yeah. can also wait. So I'll ask the team. Hey, team. Um, because you know, st- stem patches have this like negative after effect. Do you want to just maybe like rest in the car for like a little bit more time and see? I mean, we could uh, we could do use that time to do reconnaissance uh, with um, la, 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 the, the, the drone. So uh, we can have an eye in the sky while you just sit back and take a rest and we can stake out the place. But it could be interrupted uh, whenever, whenever, if they spot us. If you see them headed or if you, if you feel spotted, just just shake me. And then, you know, maybe give me a few seconds to cast whatever spells I need. But yeah, it, it might be better for me to just zen out for a second. And by a second, you mean 60 seconds times 30 minutes. Well, I mean, it's, it's street lingo. When people say like yeah, a minute yeah, or a second, yeah. they mean like yeah. a second. Is, we, we, yeah. Yeah, we, we get oh, it. Oh, okay. <laughs> right. So then Nico goes into the corner and um, he tries to cross his legs, but he can't. So he just holds, he puts his ankles together and holds his ankles. Okay. Uh, and then you launch the drone? Uh, Gertrude, is that something? Yeah, yeah, we can definitely all, uh, um, if, uh, yeah, if we, we can do a flyover, that should be easy. Yeah, I'll let you do that, and I'll see, um, I'll see if I can find things from afar on the matrix. Okay, awesome. So with that, the the drone lifts off uh, and and heads over to do the flyby while Etienne gets ready to kind of figure out what's going on matrix side, and then uh, and Kaida or Nico gets a little bit of rest. Um, with that, we are going to call it now. Uh, just. Getting into the next part is going to take a lot longer than the time we have left. So we're going we're gonna to take a little bit of an early call today. Um, I know that, uh, I know that uh, Chris had a long day. Uh, I think he's pretty tired. And um, I know that uh, Durier also has been kind of coming off of uh, some sinus thing, he said. It's not, it's not COVID. Um, I don't but, think uh, so. Hope not. But uh, yeah, so we're going to call it here. Uh, we're going to come back uh, not in a week. We, as the Shadowrun crew, will come back in two weeks. Uh, next week is the um, opening day of the Kickstarter for Carlsworth Clockwork Circus. And so uh, at least Sarah and I and guests and other people will probably be on Twitch here at this channel uh, most of the day, all day, something like that. And uh, so we will be here at this time. Uh, just we will be doing something else. With that, um, Thursday nights is still talk it out uh, with Durier, and yes. uh, you've got like a special thing. Is it next month? The twenty-four hour thing. The the fundraiser thing. That's my birthday. It's going to be in March. Okay. Yes, we found a charity. I haven't. I haven't. Um, I was supposed to reach out to them today, but I slept all day. Um, the charity that we're hoping to connect with is a charity that is a veterans association for LGBTQ members of the service. So um, we're going to be splitting half the proceeds for the fundraiser with them. So look out for that. And Talk It Out is this week. Next week is Talk It Out is this week at 8. We're doing globalism versus nationalism. And then next week on Monday at 8 is geeking out, and we're going to discuss the X-Men films. Sounds good. All right. So with that, um, we'd like to say goodbye. Thank you so much for checking in and, and watching the show with us. Thank you to the players. Thank you, Tom, for running tech. As always, um, it just keeps everything running 
fluid and we don't have to worry about it. Uh, we really appreciate that. And we will catch everybody next week and then in two weeks for Shadowrun. So see you then. All right.